You know, about 12 years ago, I happened to be dining in a certain New York cafe. And in the floor show was a very clever young man by the name of Jackie Gleason. Well, I thought that he showed a great deal of promise, and I signed him for several appearances on Kate's radio show. Now, as I remember, he did very well by us in those appearances. As a matter of fact, the guy was very sensational. Well, of course, Jackie's star has continued to ascend ever since those days. He now has his own great big television show, and I hear he is negotiating a very fabulous new contract for himself next year with NBC. So you see, it's with a great deal of special pride, and a great deal more than that, it's because he's a very good friend of mine, and it's because I think he's a very terrific guy. And he's the star of Cavalcade of Stars, his own program, so we're going to bring him back once more to the Kate Smith Hour. Now, tonight he's going to do a sketch that's by Joe Bigelow, Harry Crane, and Jackie himself. So, ladies and gentlemen, the new star of television, Jackie Gleason. Mr. Gleason. <laughs> Through the years, audiences have been entranced by such horror movies as Frankenstein, Dracula, The Wolfman, and recently, The Thing. Tonight, we present the sequel to The Thing with Jackie Gleason. The Son of The Thing. That's gin, Dave. <laughs> well, I guess this just isn't my day, Everett. <laughs> I wonder what's keeping Colonel Drexel and his men. They've been gone for hours. Why they went out in the first place is beyond me. They haven't found Professor Chatsworth by now, they never will. Even if he didn't run into trouble, the cold or lack of food would have finished him. I gotta go along with you on that, Shelley. No man could exist for six months out there on those Arctic wastes. I think you men are forgetting something. I don't believe the elements got him at all. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Well, you're not coming up with that worn out theory about the thing getting him, are you? I told you before I saw that horrible monster destroyed myself by three million volts of electricity with my own eyes. I'm not talking about that monster. Well? What are you talking about? What I'm trying to say is that it's quite possible for the thing to have had an offspring. A son, perhaps. Oh, oh come stop. on. Now, oh, now, don't poo-poo the idea. Remember, Professor Chasworth himself told us that he planted a culture taken from the thing's arm and that it was flourishing and growing quite well. Why don't you stop that? At ease, men. Any luck, Colonel? No, I'm afraid it's hopeless. I covered the entire area. Made an absolute thorough search. It's my opinion. Sir, sir. Yes. Drexel? Yes, Private. The message just came in over the wire for you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Discontinue search. Return to home base immediately. Official orders awaiting your arrival. Ah, ah, that's 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 we're going to get a hold of. Wait a minute. What's the matter? Where's Fenwick? Fenwick! <laughs> Didn't think anybody knew me up here in the North Pole. Fenwick, you mind telling me where you've been? You've been gone all day long. Well, I took the dogs for a walk up to the North Pole. <laughs> Fenwick, we're all about ready to leave. Good, I'll pack. Just a minute. <laughs> we're leaving. You're staying. You've been nothing but trouble since we left the States. On our way up here in the submarine, you almost got us all drowned. You insisted on sleeping with the windows open. <laughs> You're staying here to guard this valuable equipment. Yeah, but and what? it will also give you an opportunity to continue with your dancing lessons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, let's go. On 
Come on, come on. 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 Come